Good afternoon, my name is Candace Head. I'm with the public relations team with NABJ, and I'm joined by Greg Ellis, former Dallas Cowboy football star, and now producer of the film Carter High. Hi, Greg. How Thank you, doing? you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So um, I just watched the trailer for the movie, and it seems really exciting, mm -hmm. a lot of emotional points. Yeah. Um, can you talk about the journey of creating Carter High and everything that you went through, the highs and lows of kind of the entire process? Yeah, for me, this is my first film that I've been a part of. Um, the team of people, the other producers, Kelly Gray, Arthur Muhammad, um, Ty Walker, um, they've done several projects before, but this is the biggest one that they've been attached to as well. Mm -hmm. And so the, the journey really started with Arthur. Arthur actually played on this high school football team, and Arthur actually wrote this script and had it for over 13 years, wow. um, told me about it, and I fell in love with it, and the rest is history. Absolutely. So what, what was the transition, like, coming from a football player to a producer? Like, why producing now? I, you know, I love to be able to help people and try to encourage and enlighten people. Mm -hmm. And I majored in communications at the University of North Carolina. And one of the best ways to enlighten and help people is to entertain them. And so what better way to entertain people than by movies? Um, it, movies have entertained me for years and several people for years. And <clears throat> I think it's a, uh, a outlet that will continue to grow. So that was my reasoning for want to take that turn and get into the movie industry. Absolutely. Yeah. And why this film specifically? Well, again, helping people mm -hmm. and especially young people. Um, the, the reality when I go and do public speaking to young gatherings, um, I tell them that they're going to be an adult a lot longer than they're going to be a kid. But the choices that they make as a kid from zero to 18 years old will affect the rest of their life. And this film definitely depicts that. Um, you have a group of kids that make life-changing decisions and choices their high, during their high school years that affect, um, and some of them negative and some of them positive, but it has a lasting lifetime effect on their life. Wow. So going along with that, what life lessons do you think viewers are going to gather from watching this film? Well, I think they'll gather, um, obviously, the young people, there are a lot of lessons in there for them to gather. Uh, for as, again, making sure you take your time to analyze all the choices before you jump into that, that, um, that pool of water, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, just take the time to say, okay, if I chose option A, what could happen? What's the best, what's the worst that can happen? And so on and so on. I just want people to be aware of you have choices, but all of those choices have consequences. Right. So look at what are the possible positive things and also the negative things could happen if you make these choices. And then for the, um, the um, parents, guardians, um, teachers, principals, whoever you have, um, for them to see and have a better, gain a better understanding of some of the choices that young people are faced with mm -hmm. and how they can better help young people, help them and guide them to make the right choices while they are teenagers. Wow. Oh, That's great. Thank you. So what we're going to do now is okay. turn it over to the Twitter. Okay. Um, a lot of people have sent in some great questions. Okay. And we're going to read the first one. That comes from Naomi. Her question, she said, you played on America's football team, the Dallas Cowboys. What advice would you give current players? To understand that you're on the most, well, one of the most popular sporting teams, not just NFL teams, but one of the most popular sporting teams in the world. And again, as we talk about making choices and decisions in your life, that every choice that you make especially the bad ones, are going to be scrutinized with a magnifying glass. So I encourage the guys, think about it before you do it. And something that may seem very minute, if it gets caught and publicized, it's going to be gigantic. So make sure you understand that. Going along with that, what type of teammate were you? I would like to think that I was the type of teammate that always um, offered assistance to my team, to my teammates. Um, willing to put the team before I put myself and sacrificing to do um, to help our team win football games um, and, uh, and again to be there for my teammates outside of football was very important to me so I, I hope that every team not just the Dallas Cowboys but every team that I've ever been blessed to be a part of 
before they say Greg was a good football player, I hope they can first say he was a good person and he cared about people. That's excellent. Okay, we have one more for you. Mm -hmm. This is from Leslie Simmons. She said, high school football is such a big deal, especially in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> How hard was it to get that part of the story right? It was very hard, but again, we're blessed with Arthur. He actually played on that football team, mm -hmm. and so he lived it and went through it. So this is really his personal story, his personal life, if you would, just you know, carved out um, in, in the form of an hour and 45-minute film. So that aided us a lot. But I've lived in Texas now for almost 20 years, it seems like. And so I quickly became very familiar with how big high school football is in Texas. And so we just took all of that and bottled it up and um, put it on the film. Wow. It seems like it has a very memorable storyline. Yeah. Um, why should audiences go see this film? You know what? I, I think the football speaks for itself. The fact that the people that have seen Friday Night Lights, that movie, um, Carter was the team that beat the Odessa Premium football team in the Friday Night Lights movie. Right, right. And so it's it's a built-in audience of over 6 million people mm -hmm. that have seen that movie that we would anticipate would want to come see this film to kind of see the other team's perspective. But yes. surpassing the football stuff, which is great, the um, stuff that takes place off the field is the really is the real big eye catcher if you ask me okay yeah excellent so we're going to go to one last question okay. on twitter and this is from Dwayne wayne mm -hmm. he says how do you feel when you get your when you first got drafted by the cowboys it's surreal of course um you, you know like you just said that's what we call americans team america's team and so uh, when Jerry Jones gives you that telephone call and said, how would you like to have a star on your helmet? Um, you're like, really, this is really happening. So I can't count my blessings enough that I got the opportunity to play in the NFL and on top of that has the, uh, have the opportunity to play for, you know, arguably the best football organization in the NFL. So it was surreal, you know. Okay, well, I think, want to thank you so much for joining us yeah. today. Um, we really learned a lot. Everybody go see Carter High. Yep. It's coming in theaters this fall. Yep. Thanks a lot.